It's the off season. It's time to reflect and actually evaluate, to go back and look at some players, how they played and what we expect for next year. You know, the first player that I looked at is Chase Claypool. Now coming out of Notre Dame, he's big, he's fast, he's a good route runner, and he's very versatile, played in a lot of different positions. Ironically, that's exactly how it played out. He exploded onto the scene. Let's take a look at all the different positions that he played, how versatile and explosive he was, and what we expect going into next year. Chase Claypool's at the top of the screen at the Z position, the strong side wide receiver. Now, the thing everybody hoped for, and the reason he was drafted, is because he's explosive, he's big, and can he make big plays? Well, this ends up being his fourth catch of his career. Now, I want you to watch what the Denver Broncos do. As they walk the safety down to that side, Ben knows right away it's one-on-one -on, -one on Claypool. Now, Claypool has to win. I want you to watch how Claypool goes about running this route. As the ball is snapped, he advances to the defender. He uses his feet. When he attacks the defender as he comes up to press him, he wins within five yards. Watch how he attacks the defender. As he attacks, he's got him on his heels. He's already advanced about a yard and a half. He's won. He won at the line of scrimmage. Ben sees it and obviously takes the shot. Claypool was outstanding at the line of scrimmage. He was great at tracking the ball and finishing when he had catched the ball. These are the things he was drafted for and he shows he has the ability to do that. But this is not the only thing Claypool did throughout the season. Yes, he played on the outside, but he played in so many other positions that we're gonna look at. Claypool now is at the top of your screen, but the only wide receiver in a run formation and he's to the weak side of the formation. Now why I wanted you to see this play, because this tells you how smart he is as a player. Keep in mind he's a rookie, hasn't seen a lot of these things. It's a run formation and a run has been called. Well, Ben sees the corner off, so instead of handing the ball off, he smokes it. The wide receiver has to be on the same page and see the same thing, which Claypool does. He sees the corner off, he's prepared for the ball, Ben leads him upfield, and then this is another aspect of his game that was so terrific. Run after the catch, breaking tackles, his speed and size make him lethal when he has the ball in his hands. Here's Claypool in an empty formation. He's on the three receiver side and he's the receiver closest to the formation. The Steelers have done that so they can hopefully create a matchup on the linebacker for the Eagles. Now the Eagles are playing a cover two look and this middle linebacker has to carry anything that goes down the middle of the field, which ends up being Claypool. But at the snap of the ball, I want you to watch how he runs his route. He doesn't just run down the field because he has more speed. He attacks the linebacker. He freezes the linebacker, creates hesitation, then explodes past him, making it an easy throw for Ben and a touchdown. It's actually these type of matchups that make him a unique freak. Here's another position where Claypool would line up. In the bunch formation, he's actually the widest wide receiver. They put him there so they can utilize his speed. He's gonna run a wheel route. He's gonna attack this outside defender, work to the outside and wheel it up. But watch how he runs the route, really smart. He's gotta keep enough room to the outside that he can wheel it up. So his initial target is to the defender. Now he starts to widen it. But then when he goes vertical, he does it at the right time by the numbers, so that there's plenty of room for Ben to throw the ball to the outside. Now the ball is already gone, but if the route's not run right, then there's no chance for the catch. It's a perfect throwing ball and an excellent catch by Claypool. Here's Claypool in the bunch formation. He's the inside receiver this time versus the outside receiver. And here's what I love about this is at the snap of the ball, he is willing and able to go inside and play against big guys. Does a great job of avoiding the linebacker who tries to jam him up. He gets wide open in a perfect gap. His ability to play inside also makes him unique. Here Claypool is close to the formation. And the reason I want to show you this is his instincts and his intelligence in route running. Now the snap of the ball, what Claypool is really gonna run is a wheel route. But watch what happens when he heads to go upfield. As he turns to go upfield, he realizes the defender's on top of him. Well, that wheel route's not gonna work. So instead of just running to the top and running yourself out of bounds and being covered, he works back to Ben. 
he turns, and because his body's so big and there's such a wide radius, he's able to make this catch for a first down. The smarts and the instincts really stand out on a play like this. What you just saw there is a lot to ask of a rookie wide receiver. And the only way Kate Claypool could do all of that is he has a couple of things. He's very intelligent and he's an excellent route runner. Now, your rookie year is a discovery year. Everything is new learning. What I expect from Claypool, I expect him to get better at catching the ball up at the moment of truth into traffic. Um, he'll become even a better route runner and he'll be moved around even more, creating matchups across the board. I expect him to be twice as good as he was last year. He's going to be a special player and a dynamic player for a long time.